Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm absolutely being blinded. I can't see a thing. Today is going to be another travel vlog. I am off out and early on this Sunday morning to Edinburgh. I'm going to be taking the bus to Edinburgh, which I've never done before. I bought my ticket online last night and it says it cost me £10 because I don't have any student discount or anything anymore. Just a standard ticket cost £10 for a day return and it's going to get me from Buchanan bus station in Glasgow and drop me off on Princess Street in Edinburgh. I still can't visit anyone's houses so what I've decided to do is meet up with my grandparents in Edinburgh and go on a walk for today which is what I'm going to show you today. I'm so unfit I can't vlog and walk. So I'm just about to get on my bus to Glasgow and then hopefully I can make my bus to Edinburgh because normally there's a bus at 7 past but the app says that the next one's 23 past which cuts me a little bit fine so I'm hoping that this one at 7 past and the app's just wrong. So I've got my walking boots on today which is the first time that I've ever worn them outside properly for a walk and I've got my backpack with my water bottle and some snacks and Side. and I also packed my raincoat, my hoodie and my bubble hat in case it gets really cold which it might do, my cheeks are turning red already. I've made it to Edinburgh but it was not without its trials and tribulations. I thought that the bus left for Glasgow sooner than it did and that was because I failed to remember that it was a Sunday and it'd be a Sunday service. I did have to wait longer and I was cutting it a bit fine for catching my next bus in Glasgow. And then I got on the next bus in Glasgow all fine. I even got there before the bus after like running to the stand which it left at. And then we sat on the bus for 15 minutes. It turned out that the bus wouldn't start so we had to all get transferred onto a different bus and then I got to Edinburgh and it stopped at Princess Street and I thought it'll stop again and I wanted to get closer to Waverley Station but it did not stop again and I got taken to Edinburgh bus terminal and I had to walk all the way back to my grandparents but it's okay because we're here now on our walk of John Muir Way. The bus journey was actually really comfortable and they had a USB port so I charged my phone all the way to Edinburgh and they also have little coat hangers and Wi-Fi. I didn't try the Wi-Fi though but it was really comfy so I enjoyed the bus ride so apart from the little mishap at the beginning I'd really recommend it's called the CityLink 900 from Glasgow to Edinburgh and it cost me £10 online to book it yesterday for a day return which was obviously what I'm doing today. So it's almost two o'clock. We started about 20 minutes ago so we drove the car to where we're going to finish the walk and then we ordered a taxi to take us further back so that when we walk to the car we can just drive home again. And I hope we're going to be stopping for some lunch soon because I'm getting quite hungry. It's turned out to be quite a nice day. It looks quite cloudy but it's like sunny and cloudy and so far although we've only been walking 20 minutes the path has been really nice. We've been through like an old town and now we're just in like fields and there's a little river down there and it's all just so cute and lovely. So the main reason that I'm out in Edinburgh today is to see my grandparents because as I am living in a county with a local lockdown restriction I can't go inside other people's houses so I couldn't go and visit them in their house so what we've decided to do is take a walk together so that I can still hang out with them but we're outdoors and it's nice and airy and fresh and safe. Do you want to be on the vlog? No. <laughs> Aww. So my grandparents have been doing the John Muir walk in bits and pieces obviously you can't do it like all of one go it's really long. They've been doing it all the way from Helensburgh and where are we now? And we're nearly at Dunbar. So I've joined them on a stretch once before with my sister which was right beside the sea and we practically walked beside the sea the whole time. We did seven kilometres and now it turns out we're just in fields the whole time and today we're hoping to do eight kilometres. It looks a bit like a cabbage because it it's got that succulent pattern. If anybody knows what these are please leave it in the comments down below. I remember when you were a little girl you used to say you didn't like weeping trees. I still don't like weeping trees. They That's look sad. Very beautiful. 
So I thought I would just give you some facts around the John Muir Way because obviously some of you might not know what it is. I will just fill you in some Google facts right now. The John Muir Way is a 215 kilometre continuous long distance route in southern Scotland running from Helensburgh, Argyll and Butte in the west to Dunbar, East Lothian in the east. Grandma and Grandpa are nearly finished. Like I said, I've only done, this is my second stretch and they've been doing little bits every time but they've still come a really far away and I think it's really impressive. Who is John Muir you may ask? I asked this myself once. So the John Muir Way is named in honour of the Scottish conservationist John Muir who was born in Dunbar in 1838, that's a long time ago, and became a founder of the United States National Park Service. Oh look, mushrooms! So John Muir walked from his birthplace in Dunbar to Helensburgh to embark on a boat journey up to US, United States of America to try and make his fortune and he founded the national parks in America. Is that right? Correct. It's now quarter past three and I have just done over 10,000 steps and this is what we are walking along. The whole eight kilometre, as my grandpa says, will probably take us about five hours, but I don't know, we might have to hurry or cut it a bit short because I've got a bus to get home tonight and don't know if I'm gonna make it. It is now seven minutes to five. I didn't have much to report because we had been going through field after field after field and every field looked the same and it was starting to get a bit tedious and I didn't know what I was gonna show you because it was literally the same, nothing else was changing. And then we got to this point after having our sandwiches and tea for the second time and it's literally the seaside but the sea is miles and miles and miles out like you can't even see the sea you can see the sand and the beach and it's just basically seaside but the tide is very 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 far out it's cool because it makes a little change from the field scenery that we had before my fitbit says that i've done 16,000 steps today which woo, i've done about six kilometers which means that we only have two more kilometers to go which is exciting and hopefully i won't miss my bus and these little concrete things here that they've made into planters they were actually war defences to stop the tanks getting in so at first I thought that they'd just done these really ugly planters but actually they've turned something from the war into planters which is much cooler Look, it's the seaside! We can't decide if these are swans or geese but they're making a very big racket Sky is just looking gorgeous, look at that light Also, I don't know if you can see but we finally found the sea. There's waves on the horizon right there. We are heading out from the beach, which you can see behind me, into the woods, which is in front of me, and following the John Muir Way. Even though I've only done a tiny fraction of the John Muir Way, it just shows how much variety of landscape there is and it's amazing that John Muir actually kind of did this walk one day back in like the 1800s and there wasn't even any cars about or any roads so I find that a tiny bit wild. So obviously so far through one day today we've been through fields, we've been through ocean seaside and now we're going through the woods. We've only got one kilometre to go! As you can see I'm back home now, it's the next day and I was absolutely too exhausted to be filming any kind of outro last night. I had a little bit of a interesting journey home. Basically my grandparents dropped me off at the bus terminal which I got off from when I went on the way there. And I got on the bus fine and everything seemed okay and then halfway through the journey we stopped and the bus driver said that we had to get off and transfer to another bus but the other bus wasn't there yet. We ended up standing in the cold waiting for this bus for about between 5 to 10 minutes. It wasn't long but I was a bit worried that I was going to miss my next train because there are no buses from Glasgow back to where I live after like 6pm so I had to get a train home instead. I was worried that I would miss my train. It was fine, I got the train and then I got a taxi from the train station to my house. So I got the bus from Edinburgh to Glasgow, the train from Glasgow to my house and a taxi from the train station back into my house. So it was a very long travel day for me yesterday. There were points where I thought I would never get home. It was really good bus service and I was really comfortable and I had the USB ports and everything but I think if you're wanting something 
something a little bit more reliable, I would go for the trains. The train service seems a little bit more reliable. I don't regret it though, I had a really good time and I spent some lovely time with my grandparents and the walk was great fun. I think I filmed some stats from my Fitbit last night which I will insert here as I'm talking as an overlay. So you can see how far we travelled and how many steps we did and everything. I think it ended up being about 9 kilometres in total. We basically overshot where we'd parked the car a little bit so we had to go around this like children's play park like small animal farm thing. We saw the llamas in the back gardens and we saw the pigs and there were deers and everything so that's something that we didn't expect to see at the end of our walk. But it was quite fun and I didn't film any of the last bits of the walk because at that point I was just kind of tired and hangry and I wanted to sit down in the car and get back home so I apologise for that but I did have a great time. I'm definitely going to be filming more videos actually going into Edinburgh city centre and things like that and doing some more travel vlogs around there so if you're excited for that give it a thumbs up. I hope that you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe as I post videos every Thursday and every Sunday at 5pm. I'll see you guys then. Bye!